Hello my beautiful cappuccinos and welcome to your love reading. So today we're going to be seeing what is coming towards you. Um, if any of you would like to book a personal or information on how to do so, it's in the description box below. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa, so just take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay, my beautiful cappies. So, cappuccinos, the overall energy we have for you today is we speak different love languages. And at the bottom of the deck we have, I'm coming back to you soon okay um i think leo got that i'm coming back to you soon so you could be dealing with the leo have significant leo placements but their reading got cut because yeah we're not going to get into why but um so i feel like you're dealing with somebody who um i feel like you don't understand them you don't understand the way that somebody loves um you just you're just on a completely different i don't want to say you're on a different frequency but the way that you express your love is very different okay somebody may be quite like more passive you may be more like overt with your love with your romantic gestures more expressive okay underneath that it does say you're my moon so somebody does have deep emotional feelings for you but you know the moon is very shifty it changes so you could be dealing with a water sign you could be dealing with someone who on um, one minute they're like all lovey-dovey and the next minute they're really cruel um and me and this could be someone who like breaks up with you and then they get back together with you because it does say I'm coming back to you soon. So I feel like you're trying to understand someone's love language. You just don't, you're just not on the same page when it comes to communication. I feel like you communicate very differently and so things get um, very much misinterpreted. Like um, like I said, a water sign or people with, you know, somebody could be, um, they could have moon in a water sign like um, Scorpio moon, Cancer moon. Cancers are more overtly expressive though. I would say Pisces and Scorpios are a bit more mystical. I feel like if you're, because you're, you know, Earth signs, very down to earth. I mean, Cappies can be quite manipulative, but you know what I mean? You're very um grounded. And um, so I feel like someone else isn't. Um, Yeah. I feel like someone else isn't very grounded with their emotions and you are. So that could be quite challenging um like maybe somebody's also got moon in their mercury okay i just heard mars in mercury as well so maybe aries or scorpio somebody's very destructive with the way that they communicate um yeah or somebody's love language is different so maybe that's something that you need to speak about maybe your love language is affection or you like grounded energy you like things to be like st secure stability like tangible things somebody else might be like more ro romantic or more expressive okay but let's just see where this is going but someone is you know they said they're coming back to you so obviously somebody left here or maybe you're not with this person it's been a while okay so date night this is my two of cups card so you know i feel like somebody wants to reconcile with you here they want to take you out on a date or they want to have a conversation about some kind of karmic cycle that they keep repeating okay So we have deepest desire that wanted to come out. So I feel like, um, first of all, I heard you look like a snack or I want to taste you. Someone feels like you're really, really tasty, okay? But somebody's definitely desiring you. They're wanting you. I feel like you can feel this person like in your loins, okay? You can just, you you can feel when someone's coming because you get really um turned on and like, um you start to feel like all these sexual feelings out of like nowhere. Like you're not doing anything sexual. You're not thinking about anything sexual. You could just be sitting down like watching TV, reading a book and all of a sudden something overcomes you. Okay, it's this person. Maybe this person's love language is sex and yours isn't. Okay, there's just something going on here. Okay, but somebody definitely wants you. They're coming back to you because they, they want you. Yeah, the past is at the bottom of the deck. So the past is calling. Someone's got their past on their mind. We do have bride underneath that, okay? So I feel like someone is from your past is returning. Or someone you have a past life connection with. They may want to do something very sweet for you, okay? I'm getting something about compromise and consideration. Please clarify the date night, please and thank you. This is, oh. we just have one card please okay beautiful so we have the soul maze it reads perfect match true love and lesson slash blessing yeah i feel like someone is 
like i said they're trying to learn you okay they're trying to understand something but this is your soulmate or at least this is um you know how this person feels and like i said this was my two of cups card which is the soulmate card okay so i feel like somebody wants some kind of truth or they want to make it up to you somebody does really love you here okay or this could be how you're feeling about someone I feel like someone's trying to get on the same page. Yeah, we have the soul tie, which says universal attachment, sexual bondage, and inseparable. Yeah, you have an inseparable bond with this person. And I feel like the sexual attachment or attraction is something that cannot be severed. You know, yeah, because underneath that, we have the aphrodisiac. Like I said, somebody, I heard that, like, you look like a snack or somebody wants to taste you. I feel like someone wants to get inside you. Okay, like, honestly, oh. Wait a minute. All these cards. Please clarify deepest desire. Yes, we have the reconciliation. It says reconnection, second chances, and harmony. So yeah, somebody wants a second chance. That's why they're coming back to you. So somebody may want to apologize or, you know what I'm saying, call a truce. They may want to take you out on a date. Because I'm getting something about a date night here. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the he said, she says. It says interference, blockages, and hearsay. And on this card, it says gossip, blah, rumors, and opinions. So, yeah, I feel like there's some kind of interference or there's some kind of blockage that keeps getting in between you and this person. Or, like I said, this person may interpret something that you say, okay? But there is some kind of interference that I feel like this person is trying to... um. I'm hearing like to stop listening to outside or outside opinions or outside thoughts. That's anything that's negative is not a part of this connection. Underneath that, yeah, we have the erotic bliss, sacred sex, orgasmic ecstasy and satisfaction guaranteed. That's what I'm saying. There's a lot of sexual attraction. Maybe as well, because you're very sexy or someone's very attracted to you, maybe they just think things or they hear things, okay? But either way, I feel like there was an interference or a blockage here um but somebody is definitely coming back to reconcile or at least this is what they want to do because they feel like you are their soulmate yeah but with the nine of um wanted this is kind of like my wounded warrior card and the six of pentacles yeah somebody needs to give to you they need to reciprocate okay i feel like you just somebody just irritates you to no end because you just don't understand their energy yeah like we speak different lo love languages like what is wrong with you what's going on and like i said i feel like Someone goes into their shell and you're more communicative. Like if you feel something or if you have a notion about something, you'll just arc, you want to talk about it. Someone else will just like go away and then they'll come back and then they'll go away and they'll come back. And it's just, that's very, very damaging. Okay, so I feel like, you know, it's almost like somebody's trying to like spiritually or emotionally break you, but I feel like you're still standing very strong. But now you're more defensive. You had your guards up. This could be a Sagittarius. So I feel like somebody's thinking of a way to kind of like, you know, somebody's very insecure here and they need to secure themselves. Okay, yeah, we have the three of cups here. Could be dealing with the cancer. So yeah, this is a card of reconciliation on top of reconciliation. Okay, so somebody wants to reconcile. There could be a third party as well. Maybe that you're worried about or somebody's very insecure about. But either way, somebody wants to get back with you. They want to celebrate with you. Um, but there's it's almost like there's just a trigger and I don't know what the trigger is. Okay, but I feel like it's an outside interference, or like I said, because you're very attractive. We have the Empress of Passion at the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Wands, could be dealing with a Leo, Sagittarius, or an Aries, yeah. The Three of Swords. I feel like attractive people always get their heart broken. That's what I'm getting. I feel like this person is programmed to offend you or to irritate you or to break up with you because you're attractive, because they're attracted to you, Okay. But they're definitely desiring you. I feel like this person can't stay away from you, even if they want to, even when they try. Or there could be an outside energy that is trying to stop you from coming together because you're a very sexy couple. Please clarify the nine of wands. I just want to know what the nine of passion is here for. Yeah, the three of... I mean, what did I just say? The three of swords. Can we deal with the Libra? It's like someone is like programmed to hurt your feelings. It's like, it's like, I'm hearing like, I want to see the pretty girl cry. And now they want to apologize for that. The Knight of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. Like, sorry for hurting you. Right. Because <laughs> I feel like hurting you hurts this person. 
that's why i'm hearing like i'm hurting you and i'm hurting myself so the knight of cups is coming towards the queen of wands like yeah i'm sorry and i told you somebody's got a lot of water sign placements here so that's, that's what I feel like. I feel like they're very emotionally unstable, but very much attracted to you. Underneath that, we have the um the Ace of Wands. <laughs> I'm just like, just cha, you know. Tradition. It says family values, ceremony, tr generational beliefs, and groups. Yeah. Could be something about their beliefs or some kind of group they're a part of. But whenever I see this card, I always feel like somebody wants a traditional relationship with you. Now, the bottom, it says just friends. Complicate, it's complicated, platonic, perspective, and chance. Yeah, I feel like somebody wants another chance with you. I'm hearing you say something like, you know what? Let's just be friends for now because you don't know how to be in a relationship. You're not very stable. Because underneath the Queen of Wands, we got the Three of Swords. We have the Three of Swords here twice. I just feel like someone gets a kick out of breaking your heart and then they like to apologize or say sorry for it. Or maybe somebody doesn't even say sorry. Maybe you're just, you have to say to this person, like, are you sorry? Are you sorry that you hurt me? You say, like, yeah, I don't, I don't really know. Yeah. And then underneath that is time heals all wounds. You're just like, I don't really know about this time around. I just don't know. Because I feel like you're sexy, you're confident. And, and whenever you're confident, you're sexy, this person comes around and they break you down. Okay. And then they want to then restore it. So I just don't know. Okay, I don't know what you're going to do. Because like I said, you speak two different love languages. This you don't you don't understand the way that this person processes the processes their thoughts. Okay. It says you're my soulmate. Where are you going? LOL. So yeah, we've got two cards of soulmate. And is it love or am I just lusting? That's what I'm getting. I feel like somebody is very um lusty after you. Okay. Sorry guys. I hope you didn't see that. I might have to crop that out um see my panties but yeah somebody is very lusty after you but you know they feel like you are their soulmate you are the soulmate it's like we're supposed to be soulmates where are you going what's going on i don't know okay yeah is it love or am i just lusting exactly what is really going on here <laughs> honestly i just i just feel like you're so attractive someone just doesn't know what to do with themselves so they just they just self-destruct or they let people get into their head with the he said he said she said card i feel like it's a friend trying some shit be careful who your friends are man honestly yes yeah, it's please say yes yeah. so i feel like somebody wants you to accept their apology or accept them coming back into their life or accept their romantic gesture could be dealing with the virgo because similar energy and i am not your ex please trust me exactly i feel like someone is making you pay for past mistakes they're like treating you like how their ex treated them maybe their ex got married on them or they was you know in some kind of third party situation but it's like i'm not your ex my nigga like it, it almost feels like someone doesn't trust you but they love you but they're attracted to you but then they're confused oh this person is exhausting i'm just gonna leave it here okay Thank you so much. Toodles.